Hello and welcome to Zach's World. Guys, There, this is something that you may have not known about me and that I am a certified obedience dog trainer and have been for many years. You know, this grooming day wasn't always my favorite day because before he was trained to stand during his grooming, it used to be a real hassle. And he had certain body parts that he just would not let you touch and tail being one of them. Okay, so it wasn't always a pleasure to take time out and just grooming. But ever since him and I got this understanding, it's been a pleasure taking care of this dog. This is an eight-year-old German Shepherd. And this guy, he knows over 117 different commands. It's almost like communicating with another person. This dog is so intelligent. Socialize, very friendly dog but can be extremely aggressive when the need warrants it. And as you can see, he's trying to cooperate with me with every turn because he enjoys this here and he don't want the session to end anytime soon. You notice how I had him turn around. And guys, this goes with the bathing, the grooming, the trimming, just about everything I do with this animal. He have learned to cooperate. It requires a lot of patience from me, as well as patience from the dog, trying to understand what I desire for him to do. I get out about maybe three to four times a week and engage in this type of activity with him. Uh, today, he had just gone for his run. I'm out here on my bicycle. Now that his ears are another point that he did not allow anybody to touch, even when we went to the vet, he, did, he wouldn't let the the vet even touch his ears. That was a no no. The groomer had a difficult time dealing with his ears. But as you can see now, he's very cooperative. But that's just due to a lot of trust and respect that the animal and I have for one another. This is very therapeutic for me as well as very relaxing for him. And he, he adores all this attention, as you can see. He had not stopped smiling since, since we started. Polar Bear was um, he was in a litter of five, I believe. I think it was five puppies that he was uh, part of the litter. And Mary Lee and I decided to keep him. I was going to school at the time for a dog obedience training. And I used him 
is my example, my training board. And it paid off. Not only for me, but also for him. Guys, at the end of this grooming clip, I want you guys to hang in there because at the end, I want to show you some of the discipline that, that this dog has as far as his level of obedience. You know, white and apricot, long-haired shepherd is no joke. It is high maintenance. You have to keep them clean and keep them well groomed. Or they can look a mess. I use a lot of positive reward training with him. Now we're down to just basically praising. When he does something good, I just praise him. Let him know that I'm pleased about his behavior. Guys, thanks for watching my video. I appreciate it. I just wanted to share a little bit of my world with you guys. And I hope that you enjoyed it. Peace. Have a great day. Now, guys, these, this is polar bear, okay? <clears throat> this is a scrap from my breakfast. And he usually waits around. He always have to leave the room when I'm eating. And uh, when I'm done eating, he's about allowed to come back in the room. Here you see me placing my scraps on the floor, telling polar bear to leave it. And he's just maintaining his posture. He wants it, but he's leaving it because I have asked him to leave it. As soon as I tell Polar Bear the command, I want you to check it out what he does. Eat! Good boy. Sit. Polar bear. Sit. Good boy. Polar bear. Downstairs. A special thanks to Mary Lee for videotaping this video. Also, a special thanks to Kathy the groomer for helping me with my grooming skills when it comes to these dogs.